during the summer holidays. Let's hear from young Sanjeev on his experience of tinkering, innovation, and finally, entrepreneurship. If you don't build your dream, someone will hire you to build theirs. A very good afternoon to everyone present here to celebrate Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, India at 75. I would like to start off by thanking Niti Ayog and AIM for having me here on this occasion to talk about my journey through ATN. It is really, really an honor to be here and to talk about my journey. The way ATL has grown in the past few years is really very admirable. And for me personally, I remember when the ATL labs were built at my school. This was back in 2018, and I remember how excited we all were. At the time, we thought that the ATL labs were really just a lab with a few desktops and a 3D computer. Back then, we did not know what AIM's mission really was and what we could achieve over there. Today, not only at my school or in Pune, but everyone across India knows and has made ATL a part of their lives. Let me take some time to introduce myself. I am Sanjit Sham, and I study at Delhi Public School, Pune, in the eighth grade. Usually, this would be my introduction, but now, Thanks to the joint efforts of Niti Ayog and AIM, I am also the founder and CEO of WebEasy Tech. <laughs> My company, WebEasy Tech, mainly aims towards providing a better entrepreneurship journey to startups. In today's technologically advanced world, new startups find it very difficult to create their digital identity. The problem is that these companies do not get a good stage to get a digital identity provider who is both cost effective and beneficial for them. At WebEasy Tech, we offer a variety of services like websites, logos, social media support, search engine optimization, flyers and banners, business cards, and a lot of more services that are designed in packages that are not only cost effective, but also beneficial for them. In the summer of 2021, I participated in AIM's Tinkerpreneur. At the time, I had a basic idea for my business, WebEasy Tech, but I obviously did not have the skills, nor did I know how to actually start and drive my business. After the initial boot camp, which saw the amazing participation of 9,000 plus students from across India, I was fortunate enough to get selected in the top 100. At the time, I was astonished, and like anyone else, obviously delighted. But I still had a little doubt and was nervous about how I could actually accomplish and run my own business. As a part of the top 100, I was coached by AIM in partnership with the Indian School of Business, Hyderabad, where I was taught how to run my business and how to operate my business smoothly. In the midst of this, I even got a client, Camps and Tech Solutions, who I developed a website and logo for. This really helped me train myself for upcoming projects and boosted my confidence too. Now what came next? After the top 100 selections, I got through to the top 20, where I was given another amazing opportunity to pitch to actual sponsors to build my website and mobile app. This was something completely new and unknown to me. Even though I had previously watched Shark Tank USA, Shark Tank India, and other various pitching shows, taking inspiration from them, I couldn't really pitch, and I hadn't pitched before. Whether I get selected or not, it has definitely been a great experience. ATL has given me many aspirations. It has not only boosted my speaking skills, but also my writing skills. 
it has given me an opportunity to be present here in New Delhi to talk about my experience of ATL, about the skills that I have learned from ATL. And hopefully, I get to inspire other students to tinker and innovate. I'm eternally thankful to my parents for giving me an opportunity to be present here and participate in ATS initiatives, and most of all, for teaching me all the skills that I know today. I am thankful to my ATL Mentor of Change and my ISB Mentor for helping me realize what WebEasy Tech is really capable of. I am thankful and indebted to AIM, Niti Ayo, and the Government of India for giving us, students, the opportunity to make our own future and learn a unique skill set that we otherwise wouldn't learn. And as I always say, the world can only be changed through innovations. And innovations can only be brought into the world by business. Thank you so much. And even though I do not know what is next, I'm grateful for this opportunity and do hope for more. Thank you. Wow. Thank you, Sanjeev. This is just the beginning. I'm sure sky is the limit for you. Next, I would like to invite Ms. Mandira Chetri, founder of Oto Himalaya from Sikkim, which has been incubated at AIM-supported AIC SMU TBI. The startup solves a critical issue of access to portable oxygen in remote areas of India. So let's hear the experience journey from Ms. Mandira. Namaste and good morning to everyone present here. My name is Mandira Chetri and I am a filmmaker uh, working in the field of uh, media and marketing for the last 10 years. And I'm also the CEO and founder at Oto Himalaya Sikkim. So we are very grateful for the opportunity provided to us by Atal Innovation Mission, Niti Ayog, to present Oto Himalaya uh, and talk about a startup here today. Oto Himalaya was brought into existence when we were unable to find portable oxygen uh, to be kept as a first aid kit specifically for our parents during the COVID-19 pandemic. The COVID-19 pandemic was an eye-opener for all of us with respect to the inaccessibility of medical grade and portable oxygen as a first aid tool. We come from areas that now, if I could call post-pandemic, if oxygen is urgently required by somebody, it can only be sourced from a hospital or a healthcare facility nearby. But what of, what of those thousands of areas that, and places that are still building the basic necessary facilities? What if oxygen and help was an hour away? Our solution at Oto Himalaya was to create high quality medical grade oxygen that meets all standards of purity in a recyclable can, and at the same time, making it affordable. We are solving the problem of making oxygen portable while simultaneously try trying to make it accessible to everyone in areas where oxygen is not readily available due to its remoteness and practicality. While the use of Oto Himalaya currently in our state is amplified as a first aid kit, it has several other key uses and oxygen therapy is growing worldwide as a form of wellness being sought after by world-class sports stars and Hollywood personalities. From the likes of LeBron James to Madonna, Simon Cowell, Kate Moss, oxygen therapy is in a form of wellness is adopted by stars widely. Portable and lightweight oxygen canisters have many uses, among which we are still discovering many. Some of them include high altitude travels because we have a lot of uh, tourists who visit our state and it is being used by tourists for high altitude travel, first aid, hypoxia and anxiety. A lot of kids these days are suffering from anxiety and we've come across many. Sports and fitness and wellness enthusiasts and of course uh, living in polluted areas. We are a team of four co-founders, 
beach handling operations, product development, media, and marketing. And we come from diverse backgrounds in marketing, sports, and entrepreneurship. We are a startup. We are incubated under the AIC, SMU TBI, that is Sikkim Manipal University Technology Business Incubation Foundation under Niti Aayog, Government of India. And we are very grateful to our incubator who has provided us with so much of opportunities like these. We've, uh, they've been very encouraging. They've always been pushing us to deliver. And uh, we talked about the death zone uh, 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 quite a while back. So they really help us push through that and uh, giving us opportunities. And it was because of them we were able to even present our uh, startup in front of uh, NRL from where we received a grant. And uh, we hope that Niti Aayog and uh, AIM continue to support startups like us because we really require your encouragement. And I thank you for this opportunity, opportunity and uh, good afternoon to all of you once again. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Mandira. It was really enriching to get to know about your journey and we wish you all the best for your future endeavors. Please put your hands together for Dr. Renuka Karandikar, co-founder and CEO, BioPrime, an agri-based startup working in the sphere of climate-smart agriculture and an Atal New India Challenge winner. Today, a farmer's son or a daughter does not want to take up farming. Even a call center or a media job